Okay, I made an honest mistake when doing the spray bar install on my truck. I'll tell you why. So those spring mounts slash sway bar anchor points or whatever the hell you want to call them are actually uh, installed wrong. I'm supposed to put, see this side here is a thicker one. It's supposed to go to that side and uh, for whatever reason I got them confused and also if you look at the sway bar links they're not mounted correctly they need to be put, mounted on the outside of the sway bar and the bar itself needs to come down a little bit. So, in high speed, you get to see me re address this issue. And also, I'm going to work on moving this uh, sway bar bracket forward so that the link will, and the sway bar will line up better. As you can see, it's a, a little off. And then we might be able to make this a little bit more effective than it already is. Okay, I had to cut off a little bit because I didn't want to kill my battery and record too much crap, but we got her back together. It was actually pretty, wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be to swap everything over. We got the thicker one over here. Um, all the links are going back together perfectly now. Um, I had to, uh, on these little things here, the mounts, I just, there's a little locating pin on there. I just ground that sucker right the hell off. And then uh, I was able to move this over a little bit so the links would line up. And they're bolted up and uh, the distance from this end to here is the same on both sides now. So everything's fitting perfectly now and it matches up to what the uh, pictures look like that I took at the yard of another uh, F-150 that had a sway bar like this on it. Um, there are slight differences from four wheel drive and two wheel drive. But uh, we got the four-wheel drive sway bar to work on a two-wheel drive truck. So now our sway bar is perfectly installed and uh, we're ready to rock. Hey, it's naked! Forgot how heavy that sucker is. Just putting the bumper back on late and a little bit here. Thinking about just grinding the chrome right off it and painting it black, but uh, it's too much work for right now. So. So, 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 now, I don't really have any rot in terms of rust on this thing. The only place that there is some nastiness is just the uh, met, met steel uh, battery tray. That's all I've seen that's uh, pretty much seen its day, but don't really need it because the battery sits on a plastic fender well, so not too big of an issue there, but you know what? Uh, amongst a few other manufacturers I am amazed that they have made a paint that can rust but uh, yeah looking good got a freaking sway bar in there I love it I love seeing it and it's all set up properly now can't wait to get some new uh, new bulbs I'm gonna get some of those those clear 
housings. I was going to get ones with a projector, but they look kind of look a little cheesy when I think about it. So I'm going to uh, get some clear ones instead. Hey, look at that. It's back to normal. It looks a little ghetto with the bolts, but it'll be nice once I get a new bumper. That's the mail and a freeze. Yeah, it'd be nice to get that motor out and freshen it up a bit with some uh, new gaskets and all kinds of goodies. Hey, but for the most part, nice little truck. I think we've got a small leak of antifreeze somewhere. But our sway bar is in. Um, this sway bar does make contact with this steering link. Um, when you turn the wheels that way. Uh, but other than that, should drive pretty sweet. Handles a lot better. Still some body roll, you know, it's it's not tight like my uh, my dad's car or my mom or my car. But it is a hell of a lot better. And I think I might be able to tighten things up a little bit more once I get uh, the bushings for back here and I'm just I've got old Ford bushings that are like 20 years old 23 years old and change those out with some the polyurethane ones and we'll be we'll be golden so now what I want to see how it sits yeah it looks a lot better this wheel was all sucked in earlier it definitely feels it feels level now even before we, before I put the sway bar in, the truck just felt like it leaned to the right, like the like these springs on this side were worn out. But no, no, it's all good now. I definitely can tell I have a antifreeze leak somewhere. Thinking about draining the radiator out and taking it out of the truck and cleaning the absolute shit out of it. Yeah, I did that on accident. Oh yeah, this thing here leaks down at the bottom. Maybe the water pump has a leak, I don't know. I'm tempted to just pull all this out and redo the gaskets. Maybe nice, just pull this whole engine out. Get it up on a stand. And then freaking rebuild it. We definitely got a leak accumulating somewhere. Maybe it's where the intake manifold meets, I don't know. But I don't have white smoke. Yeah, it's probably coming out of the timing cover somewhere because I got little white spots. see the gasket I am really not too worried about it this at this point because the engine is is old the gaskets are old as shit you know things weren't cleaned up right when they were put together it's just what happens with uh, engines like this you know this is uh, far better off than some of the engines I've seen before but uh, I'm not too entirely worried about it because I'm going to be pulling all this out and redoing everything. So, But for the most part, it runs and drives and it's fairly reliable. It took me all the way up to Mount St. Helens and back without no issues. Um, I had a lot of fun on that trip driving. This was fun. Hey, we're doing a radiator flush. I got all the coolant out and just went ahead and washed out all the crap. It was just a bunch of rusty water coming out. It was pretty nasty. Alright, so far I've uh, purged out quite a bit of coolant. I've uh, taken out five gallons, a little bit of water. Um, and now I'm just purging out my overflow bottle. 
our radiator over here got a nice thorough flushing and it definitely had a lot of sediment in the bottom of it so I'm glad we took care of that I'll get it put back in here in, in a bit it does look a little dirty though I don't really like the looks of the, the tubes down there they're a little crusty looking a little corroded but she's washed out Got coolant and water all over the place. I, mean, I took my socks and shoes off because they were just getting wet. I uh, had the air injection pump tube hooked up to coolant lines here. Uh, the tube I'm talking about is uh, where'd it go? Okay, so it disappeared. But there's a little tube that goes up and to the back. I took that and hooked it up, hooked it up here, and I flushed out the, the block and where the water pump is. I put water all down in here. And got it to where I had clear water coming out of the return hose or the uh, inlet hose. And so far, so good. <laughs> Anyways, I guess uh, I can throw it back together, clean up, and uh, go get some coolant. Adam should be coming over here in a bit. Um, and when he does, he's going to take me back to AutoZone and we're going to get some coolant. Just doing a little goofing around with this thing. Got the coolant topped off because it uh, looks like it finally bled itself out. Um, I'm just kind of cleaning the truck out and getting uh, getting her kind of cleaned up. It's been kind of neglected. Um, so, so far I've just removed some stupid things like the door thing. I just kind of wanted to go take those off and see if there's any crustages behind here and no, everything's looking pretty good the only real crusties that I have are this spot here on the door but it's not like it's still pretty solid and I was trying to figure out where the squeak was coming from on this door and I think it's just right at the hinge so but I am thinking of getting a uh, I got a test fit them at the U pull, but I was thinking about taking doors off of a like a '94 and seeing if they will fit on an '82 body, or see how they would fit. Because uh, what I want to do is have a door with the newer style panels, and also I want the uh, uh, newer style mirrors. I was thinking about getting a door for a Lightning, so that way I can have the new modern looking uh, mirror. Um. Oh yeah. I tore those things off because they're pretty clunky and well you know they're just flopping around so I just took them off and now when I shut the door it, it just sound, it sounds normal that door shuts pretty good this one here the strikers or not the striker on the door but the uh, latches here are fairly worn out so when you gotta sometimes when you gotta shut it when the windows are shut are up it just it bounces back so um, that's one thing I'm looking forward to having on, on a new door is new internals and also new panels um, I do need to get some new uh, retainers to hold this back so it's not all flopping around got all the crap that was underneath the seats out or bench seat and uh, took out unnecessary crap and just give it a good vacuuming it looks much nicer now I think I'm gonna armor all this uh, cracked up uh, dash cover you know it does make it look a lot better I gotta give it a bath been using my new vet shop back to suck out the uh, crap that's in the back here but uh, this store here doesn't have any crusties As far as I can see, um, there's a little bit of bubblage here. I'm just looking at what I need to have done to this thing when I go to get painted. Uh, later on, when we, uh, you know, start really tearing into this thing, because when you know I'm done with the all the mechanics, um, I am going to have it painted a different color. It, it, it will actually be like a the color of the flex. The one, the one that we have, which is like a um, gut metallic kind of color. Um, I don't know 
what I'm going to do with the stripes. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to have them do something with a different color. I don't know. But things like this need to get repaired. This, I think this door might be just a little messed up, so hopefully the new one fixes it. The body looks, it looks straight, but it's just the door is a little cattywampus. Still sealed. It doesn't leak. I want to have the rails cut off and trimmed up so it'll look good. Adam was like, well, that, that keeps the rain from getting in. I'm like, that's why you have your window rolled up and you don't smoke. Uh, little little things here and there. Still got to get new badges, but I'm going to wait. I did do something with these, though. I had some LEDs that I had in the interior, but decided to put the regular bulbs in because it didn't quite look right in that bulb. and It was all right in the glove box, but... Try not LEDs. Bright side side markers. I think this one here on this side is brighter for some reason. I don't know. All right, let's go for a test drive. straighter too that's kind of the nice thing we got our axle vent tube all hooked up now so we're not we're not leaking oil anywhere She handles really good. At least for a truck that's a foot off the ground. I also did about 500 RPM. <laughs> 